Hello, good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, Natalia. Good afternoon, Emperatriz. How are you, girls? Como están? Good afternoon, good afternoon, Miss. How are you, Natalia? Good to see you. Fine. Trabajando. <laughs> Yeah, I got you, I got you, honey. Sí, la comprendo. <laughs> All right, but it's very good to have you in class. I'm happy to have you in class. All right, Emperatriz, yo veo que usted tiene abierto el audio, pero este, no se le escucha, así que quizás no sé si le funciona. Right? Veo que tiene abierto el micrófono, pero no se le escucha. All right, girls, let's see. You can miss it, right? Yesterday, we almost finished the section three entirely, right? But also, uh, no, but today we are going to finish it, the whole section. And also we are going to have the midterm exam, all right? It means that you're gonna take your time to work on your midterm exam. And also if you need help, I'm here to help you, right? Of course, I'm gonna give you some guiding uh, information, all right, before working on it, but it's pretty much it. And also we are going to have some practice time with these things, right? With this vocabulary. But other than, other than that, let's get started, okay? Let me share with you. Let me see if I have it in here, yes. Okay, let's go. Let's see. How are you doing with the platform, girls? ¿Cómo vamos con esa plataforma? ¿Ya la terminamos? No, Miss. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's go. Let's work on this one. Now, listen, girls. We are going to start with the listening part. I think you have four or five parts in this midterm exam, right? I'm going to play the listening as much as you need, maybe once, twice, right? Even if you want a third time, let me know, all right? But we are going to try to find out the answers, to listen carefully in order to get the answers, all right? So here we go. Si verán aquí, if you see, estas las he puesto malas, right? Porque ya había puesto las buenas, pero no. Quiero esperar a que ellas lo hagan, right? So let's listen to the audio. Si ustedes ya avanzaron, pues perfecto, nos van a ayudar, right? So here we go. Let's listen to the audio, please. The first one, it says, Mark is going to be. The instructions. Eh, Anita, can you please read the instructions? Your microphone, honey. Oh, excuse me. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct answer. That's correct. Excellent. So let's play the conversation on. Man, this is not working. Let me see. Okay. What? Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? Listen, if you hear sound, a noise, like a feedback, give me one second, all right? Because I have feedback. All right, girls, I'm back. <laughs> sorry to interrupt your listening part, all right? I'm so sorry. Here we go. Okay, let me see. Let's listen again to the audio. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. 
shoe. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. All right. Do you want me to play the audio again? Or you feel that you catch some answers? Because I can play the audio again. Puedo poner el audio de nuevo. Yes, no. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to the audio again. Here we go. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. All right, so let's get started. Let's try to analyze the information that it's already given and let's try to answer, all right? So let's see, number one, what answer did you catch, uh, Maria Siguenza? Let's see. Sorry? All right, that's correct. Mark is going to be 13 years old, right? Pretty good. Thank you. Number two, Gloria Mena. Saturday. Right, but tell they, me the sentence. <laughs> they, they are going to have a party on, oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Exactly. They are going to have a party on Saturday. Saturday. And number three, let's see. Let me have Natalia. Number three. Uh, they they are go they're going to sing song at the party. Right, very good, excellent. So let's check those answers. And those are the correct ones. As you mentioned, that's indeed the correct answer, right? So if you want, you can go taking pictures or take notes so that whenever you're doing the exam, the midterm exam, it's gonna be so much easier for you, right? Let's move on. Now, match the questions with the answers. That's the topic and basically that's the, the instructions, all right? So let's see, are we going to work this weekend? Okay, tómense su tiempo, lean todas estas y me dicen de acuerdo a ustedes cuál sería la correcta. You can raise your hand to tell me or me dicen me, teacher, okay? Or if you already have the answer, you can tell me. Teacher, teacher, I'll see. Okay, let me see. Are we going to work this weekend? All right, excellent. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Okay, thank you, Natalia. Let's see. We have with number two. Let's go with number two. 
are they going to cook dinner? Me, lady. Uh -huh, lady? Um, letter D. Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Number three. Are you going to exercise this evening? Me, teacher. Excellent, Karen. Yes, I am. I am going to go swimming. Excellent, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go with number four. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Uh -huh. Me. Excellent, Emperatriz. Let me know. Letter E. Yes, he is. He is. He's going to visit your his parents. His parents. His parents. Excellent. Very good, Emperatriz. And the last one. I know we have six. Are Pan and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? Let's see. Another me. girl. Me. Okay, Anita. A letter uh, F. No, they aren't. They are going to have a party. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And now, yeah, indeed, the last one. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Let him be. No, it is not. It is going to be cloudy. All right, excellent, Karen. Thank you. All right, let's submit the answers. That's correct. Look at them. Let me go from since the first one. Okay. Are we going to work this weekend? No, we're not. We're going to relax. That's check. That's correct. Try to. Remember these answers whenever you are making the midterm exam, all right? Are they going to cook dinner? Yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. That's clearly as you mentioned. Are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. Are Pan and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No, they aren't. They are going to have a party, right? And the last one, check. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Let's do not forget, please, that going to, it's for future, right? A future. So it's good that we review this part. Let's go to the next one. Select double H questions to complete the conversation. Okay, let me see. That's the same as instructions. Let's go with this one. In this part, you already have the, how do you say this? The answer, basically. And also you have like a glue, right? So let's check for letter A. Let me choose Isis Reyes. What do you think or which do you think is the answer for Letter A. Take your time. Tómese su tiempo, analícela. Hola. Hola, Isis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, letter B. Okay. Where are you going to go next summer? Okay, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Vanessa Leiva. The following, please. The answer says, we're going to take a boat. Entonces, Vanesita, ¿qué pregunta podríamos hacer? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Bunny. Um, uh, how are you going to get there? All right, excellent. Let me select it. Thank you. 
Let's move on with the next one. Karen Heyman. The answer says, I'm going to go with my family. Who are you going to go with? Mm -hmm. Let's check it. And Fatima Enriquez. The last one, please. Great. We're going to go on June 21st. Let's see, Farima. Boy. Yes. When are you going to go? All right. Let's see. What? No, I was telling you. Let's see. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good. Let's try to memorize the answers if you haven't done yet the midterm exam, all right? If not, still, you can ask me during the afternoon, but these are the correct answers. Indeed, by fact, I believe that you already done this midterm exam, right? But I mean, it's part of the class, so I have to make it in here with you. D, complete the conversations. Let's go, conversation number one. Let's see, Natalia. We have three uh, options, feel, get, and have. Which one would you choose? Hey, how miss? Right. In here, you have to choose any of these words. How? Aquí. Vamos a escoger una de estas tres para completar. Yes, it is how. All right, excellent, thank you. Thank you, very good, Natalia. Let's go with number one, letter B. Eh, Anita. Um, is uh, letter mm -hmm. B is take. Take, that's correct, thank you. Maria Siguenza, what do you have for number two, letter A? These are the options. What, house, and what? Your microphone. What? All right. Thank you. Lady Ventura, what do you have for number two B? Mm. Better, well, or sick? Um, better. Right? Are you sure? Let's let's. No, let's... no. I don't feel. I don't feel well. Thank you. Very good, lady. Let's go with conversation number three, Jenny Romero. Let me have, let me show you the options. We have what, how, and why do you feel today? How do you feel today? All right, excellent, thank you. Let's go with the next one, Carla Garcia. 3B, not so good, I have, feel, or am sorrow eyes. Let's see, Carla. Okay, let me go with Emperatriz. That's okay. I feel no so cool. I feel sore eyes or eyes. Ice. Ice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are you sure this feel? Um, I have. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Very good. Here we go. We're just about to get to the real um, answer, right? Thank you, girl. Let me go Teacher, with... Well, uh -huh. One question. In esa pregunta, have, también podría ser feel. Indeed, ¿verdad? yes. Mm -hmm. Fíjense mm -hmm. que de hecho, 
eso les quería comentar. Uh, ¿se, ¿Se acuerdan ustedes una palabra que vimos hace unos días que era stomachache? Right? Que es dolor de estómago. Entonces yo la busqué y la busqué y era stomachache. Me apareció en dos dictionaries separadas. Y en la noche, con el turno de la noche la busqué, la busqué en otro dictionary porque la PPT me la tiraba negativa, right? O sea, la tiraba unida. Lo busqué en otro dictionary y me apareció unido. Which means que se pueden de las dos maneras. Así que eso es importante conocerlo, right? Que hay muchas veces, no sucede en todo. Pero en la mayoría de cosas se pueden two options, right? So thank you, Anita. Very good. And let me go with number four. I have backache. Don't. Let me see. Gloria Mena, don't. Exercise, rest, or relax. Exercise. Exactly. Thank you. And the last one is Is Reyes. And have, use, or give. Use. Okay. Let's submit this, girls. All right, very good. That's correct. There you have it. Okay. I have headache. Take these pills. What's the matter? I don't feel well. Listen, well, it's a synonym of good. Si ustedes han fijado, quizá por esto pudieron haber dudado en dado caso, porque estamos acostumbrados a decir, I don't feel good, right? Entonces, pero este es un synonym. I don't feel well. That's the correct option. In this one, how do you feel today? Not so good. I have sorrow eyes or I feel my eyes sorrow, right? Ahí ya cambia el context. And then you have, I have backache. Don't exercise and use this medication. Good okay, girls, we're just about to finish the midterm exam. Go with the next one. Now, read the article. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty clear. It says, read the article, then select the correct home remedy for each condition, all right? So, <laughs> this is funny. It's going to be useful, all right? So, let's see. We have home remedies. En esta parte, todas van a participar con su reading, okay? Aunque lo leamos una vez, van a volver a pasar hasta que lo leamos two times. Let me start with Karen Heyman. Karen, can you please read a call? Solo déjeme le voy a decir el topic. Home remedies. Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try these simple home remedies. A call. Perdón, Miss, ¿qué tenía que hacer? You are going to read this part, a cold. Esta parte que dice a cold, la va a leer usted. What can do you for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red paper. Paper? Sh sugar, lemon, juice, and milk. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. This is, have you ever heard about this remedy, girls? ¿Ya habían escuchado ese remedio? Drink hot water with red pepper. Con chile rojo. And lemon juice and sugar. No. no. It doesn't sound interesting, right? Yes. Only hot chicken soup. Huh? Only hot chicken soup. Uh -huh. that's, that's good. <laughs> si no la tengo que hacer yo, of course, right? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, girls. Now let's go with lady. Lady, please tell me a headache. The remedy for a headache. What about, what about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Look at that. I didn't know that. Creí que eso solo era para fever, para cuando tenemos fiebre. Pero it says that you can put a hot, your, no, your head in hot, in cold water to calm it down. Yeah. That's good. Have you ever tried it, lady? ¿Ya lo he intentado? Um, yes. And Does sometimes I put um, yellow. Uh -huh. 
ice? Ice. Uh -huh. I put ice in the cloth and then put in my head. Okay, excellent. Does it work? Funciona? Does it work? Yes, yes, really. I'm gonna try it then. Yeah, because we are really used to drink pills, right? To take pills. Estamos bien acostumbrados solo a tomarla. I don't want it. And that's it. You're right. Thank you, lady. I'm gonna follow that advice. Let's go with Natalia. Natalia, please, a cow. Okay, a cow. Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or take some honey? This can make your throat fit better. Exactly. Thank you, Natalia. Very good. Maria Siguenza, insomnia. Insomnia. Can't sleep at night. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with a cold. Anita. What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water, white, red pepper, sugar, lemon, juice, and milk. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let me go with um, Farima Enrique. Enriquez, a coast, please. Hello, Farima, are you there? Boy, boy, boy. Uh, what can do you for a call? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go with Karen Martinez, a cold. All right, a cold. A cold. Do you have about cold? Dry, quart, tea? or take some honey. This can make your doctor feel better. Don't feel better. Excellent, thank you. And Jenny Romero, a headache. Headache? Mm -hmm. That's about a headache. Put a cold cool on your head and then splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, Gloria Mena. What can we do for, what can we do for insomnia, Gloria? Come sleep at night. Drink a large glass of warm milk or stay ever warm bath. All right, excellent, really good. Now, if you do this in El Salvador, probably you're going to not sleep so well because imagine during night, it's really hot, right? And you're drinking warm milk, not gonna help you. Okay, let's check these answers. For a cold, girls, what can I do if I have a cold? According to the reading. Me. Uh-huh, lady. Some people eat hot chicken soup. Excellent, thank you, checked. Let's go with number two, for a cold. What happens if I have a cold? What can I do? You can drink warm tea or take some honey. Exactly, thank you, that's correct. Number three, for a headache. What's the matter if I have a headache? What can I do, girls? Me, uh -huh, Anita. put a cold clock on your head. Right, excellent, thank you. And the last, but certainly not the least, for insomnia, which is something very common. What can I do for insomnia? Me, 
Uh -huh. Let me see. Who's that mean? Uh -huh. Drink a light glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. That's correct, Gloria. Excellent. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. Excellent, Gloria. Very good. Let me submit these answers. And that's correct. There you have it. Yay. At the end, you're going to have 10 girls. Excellent. Very good. You have all the good answers, right? So I'm assuming that you're doing very well. Now, what are we going to do next? This is the last part of the midterm exam, right? So let's change. Let me go with the PPT. ¿Ven la PPT ahora? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, right? We have finished the midterm exam. Let's move on for these. Do you remember this vocabulary for yesterday's class, right? We have four questions. I was telling you yesterday that we only have two ways of creating questions to ask directions, right? How do I get to the hospital? How can yes. I get to the, uh -huh. Excuse me. Eh, Podría dar nuevamente los significados porque yo estaba en otra cosa, no le presté atención. Yes, sure, of course. Let me go. Thank you. Eh, let me help. Vamos a ver, con walk up. Solo déjeme terminar lo de las questions y empiezo a dar esto, right? Then you have another question. Estas son diferentes en estas questions. How do I get es cómo llego al hospital. ¿Cómo llego? Así, right? Eh, de patada el pecho. <laughs> All right, no, just kidding. But then we have another polite way, which is how can I get to? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a tal lugar? All right? which is usually the most common way to ask for directions, all right? Now, let's go for answers. Walk up. Walk up is caminar hacia arriba, all right? Caminar hacia arriba. Esa es go, no, esa es walk up. Caminar hacia arriba. Pero si yo digo go up es suba, right? Suba. Puede ser en un... Transportation, in any transportation mean, right? Puede ser en cualquier medio de transporte. Even in the elevators. If you have noticed in the elevators, they say go up and go down, right? Entonces, walk up es camine hacia arriba. Go up es suba. Let's go with walk down. Walk down es camine hacia abajo. Go down es... Bajen. Así de simple. Bajen. Then, let's go. Me dice Natalia, se voy muy rápido. All right? All right. Then we have turn left on. Turn left on. Left es izquierda, right? Entonces, ahí estamos diciendo, gire a la izquierda, right? Gire a la izquierda. Y luego, Turn right on. Gira a la derecha. Gira a la derecha. Turn right on. On the right es al lado derecho. Right? On the right es al lado derecho. Right es derecho. Right? And left al lado izquierdo. Right? Algo que quería comentarles. Nosotros en español decimos... A, la, a mano derecha, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos dando directions. A mano derecha o mano izquierda va a encontrar el hospital o el banco o el post office, right? Algo así podríamos interpretar estas. Digo interpretar, no traducir, right? Interpretar. On the right, lado de, al lado derecho. On the left, al lado izquierdo. Right? So far, so good. ¿Lo vuelvo a repetir o vamos bien hasta aquí? Tenemos todos los conceptos. Sí, está bien hasta aquí, teacher. Excelente, Natalia. Very good. Very good. Thank El for hours no, no escuché bien qué significaba. ¿El cuál? For hour, answer. Ah, for answers. Estas son las respuestas. Es que aquí no lo, no lo dividieron bien. All right. Esto es como el tópico. For answers. All right. Eso es para dar respuestas. 
Okay. No es que okay. la van a sí, utilizar sí. para Gracias. Hacer... Excellent. Thank you. No, very good. Me gusta que pregunten, all right? Y siempre les voy a ser bien honesta. Hay cosas que se pueden interpretar de una manera y hay cosas que se pueden eh, traducir directamente. Pero no todo, lastimosamente, no todo lo que tenemos en el inglés se puede traducir directamente porque no tendría mucho sentido para nosotros. Right? Thank you. Let's move on. Vámonos a la practice. Echémosle un vistazo a este chart, a este map. Este map está bien difficult, girls. <laughs> All right? It's kind of hard trying to give directions with this map, but today we're going to try it. Uh, let me see. Anita, can you please ask this question? Usted pregunta y escoja a alguien que le dé estas tres answers, please. Okay. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Um, um, Lady Ventura? Sorry, can you repeat? Okay, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? Y usted nos lee estas tres answers, Lady. Okay. okay, go out Fifth Avenue. Turn left on um, 49th Street. It is on the right. Excellent, thank you, very good. Let's go with Maria Siwenza, Mary. Usted pregunta y escoja su victim, all right? But open your microphone. Mary, open your microphone. Abra su micrófono, Mary, porque no se le escucha. <laughs> How do I get to Brian Park? Ana Rivas. Okay, Anita. Okay, walk down, go down 15th Avenue, turn right on 42nd Street, is on the left. Excellent, thank you girls, all right. Ay, pero aquí está bien fácil, mis, porque ya está hecho, right? <laughs> Vamos a la practice, girls, all right? No se preocupen, van a tomarse su tiempo, tenemos plenty of time, all right? Solo traigo una practice más, pero si no alcanzamos a hacer, no se preocupen porque eso está, like, out of the platform. Let's go to the practice time. Natalia, can you please read the instructions? Okay. Work individually. Individually, yes, you. Mm -hmm. Individually. Okay. Answer the following question. Copy the answer on your notebook. Take your time and analyze your answer. Share your answer with the class. That's great, excellent. Look at it, miren esta la cuatro. Take your time and analyze your answers, right? Yo les voy a dar las questions, solo son tres. Lo que ustedes van a hacer es buscar, darme la dirección, pero no las voy a dejar que lo hagan así a improvisar, right? No, se van a tomar su tiempo, crean sus sentences y luego se van a preguntar entre ustedes mismas, all right? So let's see, estas son las three questions that we have. Let me see, Gloria Mena, can you please read the questions? Me lee las preguntas, please. How do you ask get to Rockefeller Center? How can I get to New York Public Labor Library? How do you ask get to Grand Central Terminal? Excellent, very good. Les recomiendo, si ustedes gustan, que copien las sentences y luego me paso al map cuando terminen de copiarlas, right? Porque lo van a hacer basado en el map.
Let me know when you're finished copying the sentences so I can go back to the map. Finish, miss. Thanks. Very good. Very good. Let me go back to the map then. Ah, by the way, yo les recomiendo, right? Si se fijan en las preguntas, no va el Empire State Building. Yo les recomiendo, si ustedes gustan, puede ser este su punto de partida, el number one, Empire State Building, right? Para que así tengamos que irnos moviendo de aquí, de allá, para acá, right? Si ustedes gustan. Si no, ustedes me dicen cuál es su punto de partida. Teacher, nosotros vamos a hacer entonces las respuestas. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. Para que sí ya llevemos algo preparado cuando nos toque estar hablando, right? Practicing. Y vamos a pie, teacher, o el carro. <laughs> you decide, you decide. If you want to go up, In car, that's okay. If you want to walk, you can do it. Okay, I see that.
if you need help, let me know, okay? Okay, how are you doing? Have you finished or no yet? Yes, teacher. Excellent, really good. Somebody else? Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you, Natalia. All right. Let's wait a couple of seconds and we're going to start with the practice, with the sharing. All right, let's get started. Let's see, some of you are going to ask, the other ones are going to answer, okay? So let's work in pairs. Karen Heyman, you are going to ask question number one. Usted va a hacer la pregunta número uno y escoja a la persona que quiere que se la conteste. All right, action. How do you, I had so, permítame. Sí, esa era la primera, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no va a aquí, I'm sorry. How do I get? Ah, no. Sí. How do I get? How do you uh, get to Rocker Park Center? How do I get? Porque usted quiere llegar, Karen. All right? Okay, sí. Entonces, how do I get? Very good. ¿Y a quién se le va a preguntar? Y a Carla García. Okay, Carlita. <laughs> Sorry, listen. No, te quito la pregunta. Right, Carlita, let's see. Voy en el microbus ahorita. All right. Oh, yeah. She cannot talk. All right, Karen. Don't worry, Carlita. Let's see, Karen. Ask somebody else. 
Escoja a alguien más. Eh, Jenny Romero. Ok, Jenny. Answer, answer, please. Uh, was the second question or the first? The first, the first one. Okay. How to uh, a get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Sixth Avenue. Uh huh. Only that, teacher. Only that. Let me see. But if I walk Fifth Avenue, ¿qué más puedo hacer, Anita? Para llegar a Rockefeller Center. Porque ahí solo voy por la calle, right? <laughs> you, can, you can go up Madison Avenue, um, Fifth Avenue, uh, turn left on 49th Street. Very good, very good. That's correct. And then... I get to Rockefeller Center. Excellent, Anita. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. And thank you, Karen. Okay. Let's go with Vanessa Leiva. You ask question number two, please. Usted hace la pregunta número dos y escoja quién quiere que la guíe. Okay, teacher. Um, how can I get to New York Public Library? Uh, Karen Martinez. Let me see, Karen Martinez. Ajá, Karen. Okay. Uh, go to Madison Avenue on the forty-one. Solo le escuché hasta go on Madison Avenue y después. On the forty-one. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you. Turn on left to let me see this other street that I don't recognize the name, right? But that's correct. Thank you, Karen. Now let's go with Maria Siguenza. You ask number three, right? Y escoja quien quiere que le dé la respuesta. How do I get? Central Terminal. Vanessa Leiva. Oye, ¿cómo la tiene? ¿Cómo la tiene usted? Is she, isn't she in the class? All right, she's another one, Mary, because I think okay. she's not in the class. Oh, are you there, Vanessa? Oh. Yes. Okay, um, go up. Madison, Madison Avenue, to Avenue. left on Forty Second Street. Turn left or turn right? Uh, este es Grand Central Terminal. Sí, ah, sí, turn right. Exactly. Um, Very good. Thank you, Vane. That's correct, right? Very good. Eh, de algo nos ayudó mucho, creo yo, el tener un punto de partida, right? Que en este caso, como les mencionaba, era el Empire State Building. Porque si no nos encontramos nosotros en un punto de partida, it probably will be difficult for us. Let me ask the last question. Let's see, Natalia. How do I get, how can I get to New York Public Library? Uh, repeat me, please, Miss. Yes. Uh, how can I get to New York Public Library? Okay. Um, while while up Fifth Avenue on the left, Forty uh, First Street. Mm -hmm. Only. All right. That's correct. Yeah. Walk up Fifth Avenue. In 41st Street, turn on. ¿A qué mano voy a girar aquí? Right. Um, yo, sé, yo eh, on the street, um, ahí sería on the left. Mm -hmm. Turn, no, porque no, para, para mí no es como retorno, sino que queda sobre la calle 41. Let Entonces, on the left. 
Uh -huh, yes, you're right on the left. That's correct. Thank you, Natalia. All right, although if it is in the corner, you can you usually, no, you can actually use turn on left, all right? Okay. But you're right. On the left, it's simple and it's easy. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. All right, everybody. Now, only let me have uh, some people to read this information for me, okay? We have Walk Up Fifth Avenue. Let me see. Lady Ventura, can you please read number one? Yes. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between uh, 33 33? 30? 30, 30, repeat, can you help me? Yes, yes. 33rd? 33rd and 34th exactly. Street. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor. 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. That's correct. Thank you, girl. Let me go with Emperatriz. Can you please read number two? Okay. Now work of Walk up Fifth Avenue, seven block to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between uh, for Forest uh -huh. Forest and um, for a second street. This library holds over uh, ten millions, millions or millions, million millions books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. It is summer, there's an outdoor coffee and the lunch hour. There are free music concerts. Excellent, thank you, Imperatriz. And let me see, Anita. <laughs> thank you. Let me see, Anita, can you help me with number three? Okay, go up six, six Avenue to 49th Street. You are studying in the middle of the uh, night, night building of Rockefeller Center to ride on 49th Street, walk another block, and to left, you are in the Rocker Plaza, Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice stay in the ring there. All right, excellent, thank you. And let me see, Natalia, can you please help me with number four, right across? Okay, right, right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled, modeled. Mm -hmm. modeled. Modeled, after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany, go inside St. Patrick and live the no, noisy, no leo bien. Noisy. City be, noisy. City behind. Look, look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Excellent. Thank you. Que elegancia la de Francia, right? All right, girls, we're going to finish in here the class. Thank you so much for your time and for being in class. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye, girls. Take care.